Hello, this is Zargi from GameMaker University, and this is a tutorial about uh, how to add Easy Glow to your GameMaker game. Uh, this glow can be used on uh, objects, uh, as I can uh, show you here. As we can see, we have a planet here. If I press the space bar, it glows red. And this applies to uh, almost any object that has a sprite. Um, now before we start actually fooling around with Game Maker, uh, there's a program that you're going to need to do it. Or if you just use any paint pro any advanced paint program would probably work, but I generally use GIMP, uh, which is a, a free uh, open source alternative to Photoshop. And uh, you just go uh, to GIMP.org and click on Downloads and Download It and um, install it. So, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump in, shall we? So, um, let's, uh, open, uh, GIMP up here. I already have it open. I just, uh, need to unminimize the windows. Um, this is, interface is pretty simple. Now, you're going to want to take the sprite you, uh, want to use, and I have it right here in my pictures folder. I'm just going to use one of the default planets from the, uh, Game Maker, uh, default sprites list sets and uh, just uh, drag it and drop or you can just uh, use file uh, open now first of all let's um, go to layer uh, and uh, one second layer boundary size layer boundary size now um, change it to double I'm going to change it to 64 and then click the center button here and then click resize um, in one moment, uh, zoom it up just a bit. Actually, I'm not sure if that worked. I didn't. I don't think that worked. Uh, so, Control Z, layer. Uh, actually, it's image. Sorry, it's a uh, canvas size. Canvas size. There we go. 64 center. There we go. And make sure to check to, uh, to uh, go over here to the layers box, right click, and click layer to image size, and that will expand the boundaries. <laughs> so um, first, copy this layer uh, and move it down behind the um, the sprite, and then uh, hide the original sprite. So now you have a copy, and you can uh, move it around all you want. Then go to colors, uh, the colors up here. And click brightness and contrast and uh, just take these two sliders and slide them all the way to the right to make a perfect white circle or a white mask of whatever sprite you have now take the uh, now go to filters blur Gaussian blur and um, push the blur up quite a bit until the until the preview th uh, image up here looks right. Uh, let's set this one to about like uh, 24, 26. Set that to 26. There we go. Now let's just make sure to move it and make sure there's not really any uh, overlap or anything or any uh, hard edges. Now we have our. Um, now we have a planet. Um, now we have the glow for the planet. Now go ahead and save this, and since your original layer is hidden, it won't show up in the image you saved. Click Save As. Um, just save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it as uh, Planet Alpha. Uh, planet Alpha 2. And make sure to save it as a PNG because that's where you will get the transparency. Uh, click Export. All of that is fine. Just click save, and there you have it. It is saved. So close all of that. Now um, create a new project in Game Maker, and uh, load your sprites. Um, go ahead and load it from um, where you saved your sprite. Uh, mine's a planet, so I'm going to name it Planet Sprite. And oh, plant, planet. There we go. Planet Glow, it's PR, Edit Sprite, no, don't edit Sprite, load Sprite. 
let you glow uh, make sure it looks all right and then uh, make sure to center the origin on both of those just so they match up now we need to let's just, uh, load actually uh, don't load don't use the background yet uh, make an object call it planet object uh, name it um, just give it the planet sprite but that won't matter because um, go to the create a uh, draw event and then add piece of code uh, before I do that I should mention the way game maker works if you don't um, know this is if the uh, object does not have a draw event then it will draw the uh, draw the sprite that you uh, put in here automatically but if it does have a draw event then it will not automatically draw that sprite um, so you so if you have a, a draw event here um, then you're gonna need to draw this sprite manually and the way to do that is um, just a uh, draw sprite and uh, I, I should mention that this uh, does um, you do have to have the uh, advanced version of Game Maker to follow this tutorial uh, because of the way we use blend modes. Um, so draw sprite ext I like to do um, planet sprite uh, and we, if we uh, follow the um, follow the um, hint down here or the reference that it gives us, we can easily sub image 0 x uh, x y y x scale 1 y scale 1 rotation 0 color c white uh, alpha 1 so that's just our uh, regular planet sprite we're drawing that again remember now we're going to need to use blend modes um, actually go if keyboard check VK space botch that up ah I can't type today and then make sure to put um, the brackets under it and within this code block try type a draw set blend mode okay and then type within that BM add and this is a blend mode uh, this sets the blend mode for the uh, for dr for the drawing basically if you draw something basically if you have a um, something white like our uh, like our glow sprite then it will add that to the pixels under it and make the pixels under it lighter uh, if that makes any sense and um, copy this and put it down there and then we need to set it back so normal otherwise everything will be drawn with uh, blend mode add now I'll copy this function down here and paste it in the middle of that and uh, name rename the um, the sprite here to planet glow sprite and then uh, set the alpha to lower set it to like 0.5 or 0.6 and set the color to whatever you want color you want the glow to be. I'm gonna choose green to liven it up. Um, and that's about it. The scale you might want to set that a bit bigger. It really depends on what you want it to look like. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we uh, just need to create a room. And um, any any room in your game will will work, of course. Uh, go ahead. And s I'm going to set the background to black for so you can see the uh, effect better. Make sure you're in the objects tab, then add your object to the scene. Uh, and without further ado, let's run it. And if we I sp uh, press the space key, you see that our planet glows. Now um, it's not a very bright glow right now since the alpha is low, but if we turn the alpha on it up to like a one then it it's a bit brighter you can see it's still not extremely bright but uh, it's definitely noticeable especially if we like um 
take a just a background like a these this uh, grass and uh, delete that. I don't need that action. Uh, go backgrounds and um, set the background image to that. Green against green probably isn't going to look very good, but see it's brighter and it glows around. And this works with uh, any image in the game. That's a very basic use of blend modes. There's a lot more advanced stuff you can do with it. For instance, you can uh, use a uh, mask to subtract things from the scene. Um, and uh, and um, a whole lot of other stuff. So, um, but that was, very, that was just very basic uh, on adding glow in your game. So uh, this has been uh, Zargi for um, Game Maker University. Uh, I hope to see you next time in my next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more updates from Game Maker University. If you like this video, simply hit the like button. If you have questions or want to say how much you like this video or how much it sucked, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching.